The first thing that I wanted to do was to pull Dad aside and let him work on his relationship with young Frank. Frank, explain to Dad what that chat's all about. It's me and my family. I took Frank and young Frank into his bedroom so that he could explain what the happy and sad faces were all about. What this chart's going to do is going to open up communication between you and Frank. Okay. It's going to open up that door for you to say, hey, buddy, look, I see you've got a sad face there. Look, explain to Daddy why you was feeling sad. We had a bad homework day. Yeah. Right, yeah. OK. Boom. Automatically, you're in a conversation where the two of you are talking so that it's bringing you to closer together. Sure. I think the feeling chart is an excellent way to have Frank express his emotions. I think it's great. It really tells me how you feel. And I'll check your chart each night before you go to bed. I want you to know the importance of me knowing about how you feel because it okay. means it means a lot to me. I want you to be comfortable with me. And I, I don't want to yell anymore. I think my dad's coming nicer to me. When you two talk to each other, you talk in the proper way that each other can understand. You don't whine. This is what whining is. I know me. See, I can't right? understand that. And when Daddy can't understand, Daddy gets angry with you, and he shouldn't get angry with you. Daddy's definitely going to work on controlling myself to allow to, myself to hear you. Daddy doesn't like the fact that he did get upset with you to the point where I was very angry. I do apologize. Daddies can apologize, too. This was a big step. Dad apologizing to his son. He's making progress. So can you work with me on it? I'll try. Good, because I will try, too. I feel like I've hit a reset button. I feel like I kind of have a new beginning. I have a new start, a new approach to things.